Hi everyone, this is a new topic that has been introduced which is service marketing and I am your professor, Professor Soumya Bhadgyan. By qualification, I am an MBA. I did my MBA way back in 1999 with dual specialization in marketing and international trade and I also am a PGDBM in personnel management for which I have a gold medal. So uh, having introduced myself, we now begin the topic on service marketing. What exactly is service marketing and how we are going to design and manage these services? So services is a form of product that consists of activities, benefits or satisfaction offered for sale that are essentially intangible and they do not result in ownership of anything which means that these services are just to be felt right you cannot touch them uh, you cannot you know it is just all about an experience that you get out of these services service industries are everywhere the government sector with its court employment services hospitals loan agencies military services police and fire department postal services and schools which is education and the service business itself which also has the food and the beverage and other kind of industries let us go through them one by one the service industry as you see in this entire uh, you know chart that I have drawn for you consists of hospitality right as we progress on I will elaborate these to you in detail service industry consists of hospitality insurance banks and aviation food postal and courier services we will go in depth with each of these and study them right hospitality industry what does it encompass of basically when you visit marriott or you visit holiday inn or for that reason you know four seasons as well what is the thing that attracts you to these hotels and they you know inspire you or you want to revisit them often you know a one such place is Vegas if you go to Vegas you definitely would want to visit MGM Grand there was a time when they used to have those uh, tigers and lions you know on the prowl and you could actually see them there with 6,000 plus rooms it is one of the grandest hotels that one could think of in the world it is supposed to be the biggest hotel so the the experience you get out of it you know they have a whole wine kind of uh, 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 of uh, you know a winery wherein they keep their wine bottles and everything and they call the waitresses there the wine angels why because they are belted up and then they go up you know take out the choice of uh, the liquor that you would want to have and hand it over to you. They are like, you know, trapeze artists. So it is a beautiful experience. You can go and buy wine from a normal liquor shop and have it also at the comfort of your home. The same brand. But the whole experience that is created around it gives you a different feel, right? Then you come to the insurance industry. Everyone is scared for their life, for accidents, for death, untimely death. For that, we take a lot of insurance, even the dental insurance that is now very much popular out there in the West. We also get, you know, who doesn't know that, uh, you know, Beckham's legs are insured for more than two billion. Okay, Jennifer Lopez's butt is insured. So you have all these insurance also for the assets that people have. Now these insurance are also a kind of experience. No one wants to go and or die, you know, an untimely death. But what happens is that these insurance companies, they give you an assurance that post an unfortunate incidents has happened, they would always be you know helping you come out of that right either helping you or helping your family members right healthcare services in healthcare services you see a whole barrage of you know um, a list of rather companies that i have listed out apart from these companies you also have 
hospitals, dispensaries, clinics. Now, you know, when you visit a certain doctor, you would always feel, you know, I really like the way I'm being treated. Why? Okay. In Mumbai, we have Seven Hill Hospital, which is now becoming the talk of the town. We also have the Hirubhai Ambani Hospital, which many people like. You know, we have Leelawati, and anyone who wants to have a baby uh, in, the, in the earlier time, all the film stars, they always used to go to Breach Candy. Why? What is the need? You could always have a baby at home also. The only reason being, okay, the amount of care, the amount of support, the amount of, you know, post-delivery care that they give you is something that you would always cherish for life and it becomes embedded in your mind as a very pleasant memorable experience so even the sickness can be something which people would uh, you know get on with life with some amount of good memories also associated with the bad ones uh, there was an unfortunate incidence when in someone with cancer uh, you know was uh, taken to a hospital I am sorry I am reluctant to disclose the name of the hospital but that being a famous cancer hospital what you only see is saddened faces all around you one the name of the disease itself takes a toll and secondary the way that the people were treated right we took our relative away from that unpleasant scenario and we got him admitted to another hospital wherein the environment was more peppier, more happy, happier and the person is now survived for seven years, right? So this is something that these healthcare uh, companies or insurance companies or hospitality companies give you, banks. Banks in India were supposed to be the most traumatizing experience ever okay ting tong the teller bell rings you take your token from there sit for and wait for hours and hours together for your number to come right with your number you go there what is it that you want to do sir i want to deposit money in your bank may i please do that I am the king I want to be treated like one but that was not the case right now with the advent of law of privatization in this particular sector you know city it started with city bank when you used to go there stand chart banks when you used to go there you were treated with some good welcome drink you were made to sit on a sofa look at the drastic difference that the banking sector has gone through Today, you can deposit your money from anywhere, right? And it is just at the click of a button. So this is how the services that make you feel good about banking with someone. So this is the banking sector, the aviation sector, right? We all have had some experience with this particular industry, right? Why is it when we say we talk about Cathay Pacific, we talk about British Airways, we talk about Emirates, we always have a perceived notion about these, whereas if we Indians talk about Air India, oh my God, oh my God, is one thing that comes out from our mouth. Why? Because A, the air hostess's attitude towards passenger is pathetic pathetic because it's a government undertaking they have they've still not understood the concept of service right whereas you have other airlines such as British Airways which really value their passengers yes it also depends in the class that you are traveling if you're traveling coach or the capital class so as to say then of course but if you're traveling business you get the service that you have paid for. Emirates being top of the line. So these are some of the airlines with whom you would want to travel. You would want to 
always come back to them. And most of these airlines, like Jet, like uh, like Emirates, or any other, or British Airways, they have created their customer loyalty programs wherein they give you mileages. The more you travel, the more mileages you can bank on and you can buy your next ticket on that. So these are all talking about experiences and how you can bank on those mileages only when you revisit them again right only you are ready to take the experience again so the onus is not on the owner of british airways but the onus is in the employees right food food is something we all crave for in this life wherein we're just running around doing the chores daily you know waking up early in the morning putting on our best food best fresh face forward and running out dashing to the office coming back all tired okay we need one thing that we want is fast quick service when it comes to food most of the indian women always tend to call for food from outside because either they have not prepared something owing to the professional commitment pizza hut dominoes mcd's they have become the best and the most visited place, right? What is the concept behind McDonald's and Domino's? The concept is very simple. I am here to serve to your needs. There is a limited uh, menu, or there is no a la carte, but a limited menu that I am uh, putting forth before you. Please choose one or multiple choices that I am going to offer to you and that is what you just drive out. Domino's is not a place where one should sit and enjoy, right? Taco Bell's, another place where the experience is all about food and not about, you know, it is about the fast, quick service that they offer to you, right? Whereas Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut is wherein you get an experience sitting down, right? It is an in-dining restaurant. So this is how things and services matter. Postal and courier services, DHL, FedEx, one of the best known services that one can think of, right? And why so? They have a proven track record your parcels don't go missing very often you never seem to have ever got a complaint that such and such parcel reached very late right and also this um, if they pledge that i will deliver this parcel in three days they do it so this is what postal and courier services are doing to us so the classification of service mixes, a company offering to the market often includes some services, right? The service components can be minor or major part, whereas if you are in hospitality services, then of course it becomes a major part. But if you are in, in a sales and marketing, then yes, there is something which is known as customer service. So it depends on the kind of business environment that your particular organization is operating in. So there are five categories of offering. Pure tangible goods being the first one, which offers uh, primarily of tangible goods with no service accompanying the product, right? such as the soap, the salt and the pepper. Well, I don't need to give any service for giving you a soap, right? Why? Because soap is something that is a tangible good. Salt. Salt is not supposed to taste bitter, is it? So where is the experience? Your taste buds are always sensitized to them, right? Sugar is another thing. Pepper. It is supposed to be chillier. So tangible with accompanying service is the second part. The offering consists of tangible goods with one or more services. Then you have a hybrid, okay? Hybrid meaning a combination of both. The offering consists of equal parts of goods and services. For example, restaurant provide both food and they also provide service right so if they are saying that you know someone comes and uh, the usher says this is the table for you ma'am so this is something where you sit right the person pulls the chair back for you service the person pours wine for you service 
the person asks, may I serve you service? But the food, that is the tangible part, is actually the core product that is being sold. Service is all the experience around this core product. The offering consists of major service along with additional service or supporting goods. For example, air travel is a major service of traveling industry. But food, shopping online or on air, on board is accompanying and is a minor good. And the pure service. That is, that offering consists only of service. My core business is just to serve you. For example, a hair cutting saloon or a lounge, a tailoring lounge, right, or a boutique. These are examples of pure service. A tattoo shop. A tattoo shop is another example of pure service. You want something to be tattooed and that is an experience that you want to be etched forever on your body so that's also pure service now we come to marketing strategies for service firms we often wonder why is it that we need to strategize something around services what good is service if my product is good I don't need service correct absolutely wrong your product is your tangible thing which we've been talking about service is something which is always the luring part right the traditional four piece of marketing approach works well for goods but additional elements require attention and this is attention in the service business Three more elements of marketing mix are thus suggested. One is people, one is physical evidence, and the other is the process, right? So the people, an essential ingredient of any service position is use of appropriate staff and people. Recruiting the right staff and training them appropriately in the delivery of this service is essential if the organization wants to obtain a form of competitive advantage. Customers make judgments and deliver perceptions of the service based on the employees that they interact with. Like I have said, okay, Virgin Airlines or its contemporary or inspirationalized Kingfisher Airlines both evoke a sense of glamour right they both tell you that we form and we work for the elite I'm talking about Kingfisher before it started uh, you know going down and this is something that we need to understand Disneyland what, what would you do with a mouse and with a duck but they have created characters that are so adorable okay sleeping beauty come on you're just sleeping sweetheart but they've created an enigma a story around it right and we all fall for these beautiful stories and they all lead to beautiful experience Disneyland is purely a park wherein people like you and me go just to experience the world around there it attracts both the youngsters and the kids as well as people like us who are family or the honeymooners right so it has everything for everyone plus it has various theme parks the African Safari the China Park you, know, you have various theme parks inside that which is so beautiful and it is all about experience there is a diktat that flows in Disneyland, okay, and which is always greet the person with a smile. Any employee you meet of Disneyland will always welcome you with a beautiful, bright, cheerful smile that adds to your experience. You feel so happy and that is there in that tagline, you know, happiness everywhere. So process, it refers to the system used 
to assist the organization in delivering these services. Imagine you walk into a Burger King and you order a Hooper meal and you get it delivered within two minutes. Okay, what was the process that allowed you to obtain an efficient service delivery? Well, banks, okay, they send out credit card automatically the moment one of your credit card has expired or you know you have lost a credit card and you have called the banks back well why and how do they come to know their automation system or the process is so beautifully laden out that they know how to address to these needs when the customer would never call them right if my card is expired you're so surprised Oh, my card was going to expire next month and I already have a new card, right? So this is what the experience is all about. Marketing strategies that we are continuing for service firm, physical evidence. Where is the service being delivered? Physical evidence is the element of service mix which allows the consumer again to make judgments on the organization. Now everything you do as part of your service, you're actually selling your organization more than selling your product. Through people, through physical evidence and through processes, you're actually selling your organization. Okay? So if you walk into a restaurant and your expectations are of a clean, friendly environment, you better get it. And if you don't, off you go. There are people that I know who actually go and the first thing that they visit is the loo of any hotel. My husband being one of them. The reason being if they feel that the loo is spick and span and clean and he does that even in five stars to my great great embarrassment but if he sees that it is spick and span he's assured that this is a well maintained property okay another one has got a very weird um, a weird fetish if you can call so uh, you have these napkins that are given to you right he has a habit of smelling those napkins and if he can uh, you know get a whiff of freshness of the detergent he's assured oh they are washing it properly huh? otherwise he will not eat he will not die and he will not even drink water one of my aunts has a fetish, you know, you, we, we are always so embarrassed to take her out. You have uh, this waiter coming and pouring, you know, uh, some water for you and she'll just lift up the glass and see it against the, the light. And if she happens to spot any speck of dry water droplet on it or any stain on it, off her temper goes. So if she says that, Sweetheart, I'm paying five grand for a dinner for two. They better give me what I am paying for. So this is a perception that is generally generated. Nature of services. Distinctive characteristics of services are, services have four distinctive characteristics that greatly affect the design of marketing program. Intangibility, inseparability, variability, and perishability. Now intangibility is unlike physical products, services cannot be seen, tasted, felt, heard or smelled before they are bought. Yeah? For example, a person getting a cosmetic sur surgery done, no matter how much the doctor shows you on the screen or the monitor, your nose is going to look like this, your lips are going to be this pouty, you will have various augmentation of your body parts and you will then look eventually like this or all your wrinkles are going to vanish. Nothing works. It is only after you've gone through those procedures will you realize. So service companies can try to demonstrate their service quality through physical evidence. Now how would they do it? It is, you know, most of these clinics have before and after uh, photographs cleanly pasted on their walls, clearly advertising, okay? So this is like, you know, people who 
come forward and tell you that you know this was the before and this is what has happened to that person post they have gone under the knife right so you have people equipment communication material and most definitely the price that you're going to pay for that service intangibility we continue it place the exterior and interior should have clean lines. The desks should be properly placed and the traffic flow should be planned carefully. Ratings, waiting lines should not get overly long. Now what does this tell you? This tells you that if the waiting line is too long, either your process is at fault your person is at fault or something is not being delivered properly that is why you have a whole queue have you ever imagined if you're walking through a drive through of a macd and you order something there and you're supposed to wait for 30 minutes before the next one can order oh my god it will cease to be a drive through right people personnel should be busy but there should be sufficient number of employees to manage the workload. I would always say if you are a part of a service group, it is good to have multitaskers in the organization, but please for heaven's sake, do not overburden them. Once you start overburdening them, you would have sullen, tired faces that will not be cheerful that will not be welcoming, that will not be warm enough for people, right? Also, a person has got just two hands to handle one client appropriately. You give that person too many things, off it goes from the tangent. Right? So it, it is not good for you to have too many uh, people, you know, waiting for you in line to be attended, right? Equipment. Computers, copying machines, desks should all look like state of the art. You know, it should all give an impression who have got the latest technology. My, uh, you know, now you have the concept of ergonomic chairs, wherein it gives a good seating position to the people. So that all gives a good feel about the environment, right? Communication material, printed material, texts and photos should suggest efficiency and speed we i'm from the jewelry background and we do a lot of uh, exhibitions and shows one thing that is always troublesome and bothersome for us is when we go for international shows we go for international shows to basel in switzerland to vegas in u.s to miami in u.s new york show in u.s we go to vicenza uh, three times in a year or uh, twice to hong kong in march and september so we've got about 12 shows happening all the year round plus we have one in india in gorega uh, you know any nsc complex now what happens is that we want to create a uniform branding for the company any material that we are taking okay becomes a gruesome task for us so that day when i saw one foldable kind of a concept it really got me excited it told me that this is something that i could use often again close it back dump it and it's easy for me to fly with that luggage i just need to pay maybe some few dollars extra for excess baggage but it is so convenient so it is suggesting to me if i adopt that it is the speed and the efficiency communication in another word which is spoken written or which is picturized now if we are talking to you it should be in a manner that it reaches out to you if it doesn't then it's a failed communication there's no point in you and me talking right price the company could advertise that it will give some incentive to customers if the product or service is not delivered or offered to them on time. My favorite, favorite example being any pizza delivery, uh, you know, company, whether it is Domino's or Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut says if the dot is not hot, 
please return my pizza. Okay. Domino says 13 minutes delivery to the first obstacle or the first restriction or the first entry barrier. Right. So this is how we are talking about the nature of services. Inseparability. Whereas physical goods are manufactured, put into inventory, distributed through multiple resellers and consumed later. Services are typically produced and consumed simultaneously. Service provider and client interaction is a special feature of service marketing. For example, a barber cannot uh, give a haircut without being present over there. So if I have to give you a service, I have to be present there, right? Variability. The quality of service depends on who provides them, when and where and to whom. Services are highly variable. For example, some doctors will provide excellent service, others may not. They may come to your home for home visits. You know, when you see your family doctor and if he assures you, oh, no, there's nothing wrong with you. Just get these few tests done, you know, get uh, some MRI done, some CT scan done, some Doppler test done. You would be like, oh my God, am I going to die tomorrow? No, but one assurance from your doctor and you're up and about. So service buyers are aware of this variability and often talk to others, which is you are doing what? You are investigating before selecting a service provider. You investigate, you call for friends, you, you, un you try and understand is this worth what I am getting into. To reassure customers, some firm offers, offers service guarantees that may reduce customers perception of risk. I would give an example of uh, Club Mahindra holidays or Sterling holidays or RCI holidays. Now what happens with these holidays is that you are supposed to park some 8 lakhs, 16 lakhs for say a period of 25 years. Giving one shot payment for an 8 lakh of rupees or 16 lakh of rupees is not easy for people in India yet. So what do you do? Okay, You start questioning the salesperson. And the salesperson gives you back the reply. Oh, it is not that just you can avail this. This card is in your name, but you can send your family members also. You can gift a holiday to your family members. And if you want, you can transfer this holiday to your kid or you may sell it off. Once you have all these things in place, you say, oh, wow, this is a viable option because I would have had enjoyed my holidays with them and I am also uh, allowed to sell it to someone else. So this is how you try to evaluate the options. Perishability, services cannot be stored, unfortunately, right? So their perishability can be a problem when the demand fluctuates. For example, transportation companies charge high rates in peak hours and low rates off peak, right? Because of the demand. It's a simple demand and supply thing that happens. Law of economics happens here as well, right? Demand is high, the price goes up, right? Some doctors charge patients for missed appointments because of the service value. They say, because you did not come in for that particular hours, I did not get another person. So if you've missed the appointment, you still will have to pay for it. It happens a lot. The slide that we are now seeing is that you see that there is a pyramid that is made wherein the company forms the apex and the base is by the employees and the customers. What happens between the company and the employees is internal marketing. What happens between the customers and the company is, internal mar is external marketing. And what happens between is there is cleaning and maintenance services, there is financial and banking services, and there is restaurant service. 
between employees and customer there is an interactive marketing right so three types of uh, marketing in services are again that we are going to continue this slide service marketing require not only external marketing but internal and interactive marketing as well external marketing describes the normal work of preparing pricing distribution and promotion of the service to the customer internal marketing describes the work to train and motivate employees to serve customers okay how would we feel if someone comes and says your order this is what you've ordered error and get lost if someone talks to us like that we would never visit that place leave alone never visit we we'll lodge a complaint okay that this person is trying to misbehave or has misbehaved rather with us so this is something that we always talk about in service be polite greet the person with a lot of warmth right interactive marketing describes the employee skill in serving the clients because the client judges services not only by technical quality but also by its functional quality right for example you have a mobile phone right now when you change your mobile phone from one type to the other type the ui or the user interface changes once the user interface changes you take some time to get adapt to it but you do that to yourself that means you become your own service provider think about it in the larger terms okay if you are in going for um, you know a boarding pass right nowadays they have many kiosks wherein you can take out a self boarding or an electronic boarding pass when you trying to scan your passport something doesn't happen what do you do you tend to look for assistance and when you are looking for assistance you tend to look for airport uh, appointed people these people come and they greet you and then they help and assist you your journey starts on a pleasurable note if this scenario is reversed you would hate to travel or you would always shiver to travel right another example is for example in hospital a successful operation is the technical quality for the doctor but the way the doctors show their concerns the way that they give advices the way that they generate confidence inside the patients is something which is known as interactive marketing how do you manage the quality of the service very important you may be doing a good service today but the external environment has become very competitive consistency is the key to success you always need to up your performance mr salunke has a very uh, beautiful line that he keeps on talking about you perform or you perish which means either we as lecturers or we as professors we give good service to you as students or this entire organization collapses that means his vision collapses if we as his employees do not deliver something to you a very beautiful thought it is always there in my mind right so it is all about how we keep upgrading ourselves right the service quality of a firm is tested at each service encounter a service personnel are bored cannot answer simple questions or visiting each other without you know any any motive and just talking yapping away to glory so as to say customers are waiting in line customers will think well they don't care about us or they would think twice about doing business again with that seller right so customer expect
expectations from service expectations from many sources such as past experience, word of mouth and advertising. Customers compare the perceived service with the expected service. If the perceived service falls below the expected service, customers are disappointed. There is something that we always keep uh, talking about that you know uh, there is this gelatin chocolate that you get in India which is maybe a two rupee okay which is not even a cent it's just two rupees when you eat it sometimes you know you may get um, uh, sand granules or it may not be as smooth okay but what is your thought well you've just paid two rupees and this is what you will get so you are satisfied even though the quality was not good but imagine what happened to Cadbury's fruit and nut when the worm was found inside it. Oh my god, people started moving away from Cadbury's. Nestle and Amul started taking away the market share. That is where they had to reinstate customers confidence in India when they bought Amitabh Bachchan and his granddaughter Navya Naveli. If the perceived service meets or exceeds the expectations they are suitable to use the provider again oh i loved traveling emirates and the experience was wonderful i would love going there i would love going and visiting al burj again even though i have paid maybe you know more than a lakh of rupee a night why because the amount of personal attention, the personal butler that I got, everything before I get up, my coffee was served on my bed, right? My spa appointments done by my butler it was an experience to die for, right? So it exceeded what I had expected and I just loved the overall experience, right? So I am a very satisfied customer and I will always talk good about that particular hotel or property. Now this is another slide wherein we talk about communication. A very funny slide though, wherein the customer expectation is that he just wants a swing. Okay. The other fellow expects or interprets it that he wants a swing on two different branches with just one foot of seating space. The second person interprets it yet another in another manner which says oh the trunk should be severed in two parts and it should be a hanging swing. The fourth one says oh the swing doesn't need to hang it just needs to lay down. The fourth one or maybe the marketing guy would come up and give you the biggest of story and would say oh that's not a wooden plank on which you swing it is actually a full cushioned cozy sofa set that would be actually modeled as the seat of the swing okay now this is what the marketing is trying to explain to it okay the, the other person uh, the fourth person is like what the hell are you talking? I don't know anything. I'm blank. Okay. The process engineer makes it look like, oh my God, it's a roller coaster ride. There are so many things that is going to go around. And finally, what you get is just one tire and just one rope going around. So this is what happens when what the customer is expecting is not met or is not understood clearly. So there is a gap model for improving service quality. Okay, the customer expectations for service quality and management's perception of customers' expectation brings together the knowledge gap. Okay, standard specifying service, what is to be delivered, and management of the perception bridge the standard gap. Okay standard specifying service to be delivered and actual service delivered okay they form between themselves another link actual service 
and customer's perception of service quality gives you the delivery gap and customer's perception of, uh, of the service quality and retailer's communication of the short service quality gives the biggest communication gap right so how are we doing it that is what we are understanding we are going to understand these five gaps that we have just read gap between customer expectation and management's perception management does not always perceive what the customer wants sad but true for example hospital administrations may think patients want better food but patients may be more concerned about the nurses responsiveness very interesting there was a recent study that happened and uh, this happened for a lot of nurses working in Mumbai and they said a lot of uh, hospital tourism is on rise in India the reason being that the nurses here are more caring towards the patients originally the nurses attire was supposed to be white because they wanted to disconnect the soldiers who have fought the wars from the female uh, embodiment and they also took inspiration of the nurses clothing from the nuns habit now times have changed many hospitals including dhirubhai ambani hospitals have issued a diktat which says or have issued an advisory which says that nurses are supposed to wear makeup they're supposed to have pearl earl earrings and pearl nex necklace they're supposed to put on a little bit of lipstick and blusher on why why would you want to throw patients or throw nurses in a vulnerable situation actually what you're doing is the patient is already sad people who come to meet him or meet her is doing what is just giving them sympathy if you have a well-groomed well-dressed person you would always want to meet the person again you would want to talk to the person and it just adds to the cheerfulness right second point gap between management perception and service quality perception management might correctly perceive customers wants but not set a performance standards hospital administrations may tell nurse to give fast service without specifying it in minutes if pizza hut says if the dot is not hot okay please return back the pizza there is a time frame okay and the time frame is 30 minutes though they are not vocalizing it because they don't want to take the tagline of the other competing brand but when Domino's is saying 30 minutes it means 30 minutes they are putting specifications in terms of minutes when we say that the that the hospital staff needs to turn the patient every 30 minutes or has to see uh, the you know the intravenous drip that is going every 40 minutes it has to be specified in some terms which is quantifiable okay gap between service quality specification and service delivery personnel might be poorly trained or incapable or unwilling to meet the standards you have set very high standards for a particular service that you want to deliver all your communications everything is reading those standards but are the people whom you are depending on being trained to deliver the kind of performance because once you do that or once you've already started interacting with customers you have upped their level of expectation then it becomes very difficult if your staff is not trained to back your communication and there arises a big gap between that gap between service delivery and external communication consumer expectations are affected by statements made by company representatives and ads if a hospital brochure shows a beautiful room but the patient arrives and finds the room to be cheap and tacky looking 
the patient is not going to be very happy right external communications have distorted the customer's expectation happens a lot in the hospitality industry apart from the hospitals the hospitality industry if you're showing a very beautiful property please make sure that that property is beautiful the way it has been picturized most of uh, the people who are now selling you know these uh, homes or certain projects are actually going out and saying actual site photographs why it is because we are pledging to give you what we are showing you okay gap between perceived service and expected service this gap occurs when the consumer misperceives the service quality the physician may keep visiting the patient to show care but the patient may inter interpret his visit as is something really wrong with me is he trying to fleece, fleece a lot of money out of me is he trying to just add numbers to my bills probably the patient is absolutely wrong the, the doctor is actually concerned for the patient and genuinely concerned but this is what happens so you you shouldn't underdo something but you should not never overdo anything if you overdo you are again raising those antennas of caution best practice of service quality management Various studies have shown that well-managed service companies share the following common practices. A strategic concept, top management communication or commitment to quality, high standards, self-service technologies, systems for monitoring service performance and customer complaints, and emphasis on employee satisfaction. Very important. Strategic concept is you strategize how you want your service to be integrated with your business needs. Okay, how would you involve the stakeholders and the shareholders? Top management's commitment to quality. You may go on harping, you've got the best quality, you've got the best quality, and what if the top management tells you it's okay, you can let go of few things. Uh, you know, if even if the quality is not as per what we are thinking, yet if the product can be moved in the market, just push it out. Wrong. That is unethical and that is wrong. Right? If you are not committed to the quality standards, then please don't expect the others to stay committed to in your organization. Right? Letting go a lot of things at the top means you are going or you have sto already started tumbling down. High standards. If your management says this is my high standards, that is what is going to be delivered. Self-service technology. The more you stop the human interventions and you introduce such self-service technologies, the better the whole entire system becomes. The other day I went to watch a movie. I had already booked a ticket online. Usually the ticket actually comes to me in the form of an email or it comes to me as an SMS. I just go to the counter and I show that SMS. In PVR, which is a very famous uh, line of uh, movie theaters in India, I just went there and it was so pleasurable to see an ATM kind of looking machine there and it clearly stated if you've pre-booked your tickets you can swipe the same card through which your ticket was booked and an e-ticket would come out and we did that and it was you know, we did not have to stand in the line waiting for that tickets right so immediately we got the tickets printed without any human intervention and that also saved a lot of time for those people who are managing or who are actually giving physical tickets right system for monitoring service performance and customer complaints many of these cab services or uh, you know service providers for your mobiles whenever you talk to their service center there is a recorded message that always comes your conversation or this conversation may be recorded for training purpose only okay 
what is the need to monitor this well not all calls get you know monitored but few calls that have exceeded a certain time limit always rings a bell and that those calls and that is where the company pinpoints right why is it that this customer service person took 10 minutes talking to that customer is it that he was unable to explain to the customer or the customer was so wild that you know both of them couldn't arrive at a common understanding ground so this is something that the companies keep revisiting to train their employees to handle situations better right emphasis on employee satisfaction if i am a contented employee of my organization i'm always going to talk very highly about my organization never ever will i go out and bad mouth about my organization and that matters a lot because i am a person who is from inside the organization going out and speaking good about the company right itc is a company wherein from last 34 years there has been no recruitment at the top level can you believe it the lowest attrition rate ever and it is a hundred year old company once a person has joined itc the person doesn't resign from uh, say mid management till top management because of the environment that the employees get strategic com control top service companies are customer obsessed they have a clear sense of their target customers and their needs they have developed a distinctive strategy for satisfying these needs right so how do you do this strategic control okay I am so obsessed with the needs and wants and desires of my customers that I am tailor making products around them. Okay? I am trying to fulfill all their wishes. If any one of you has actually seen Sex in the City movie, you will realize that when these women, uh, you know, they go to Emirates and they, uh, they are in Abu Dhabi and they are in Al Burj and that hotel, they four of them each get their own personal butler cooking for them making you know uh, things pleasurable for them even their outings even shopping and suggestions were given by those four men to these four women so this is how you become obsessed with your customers and you only and only want their well wish right Top management commitment, as we've spoken, organizations such as Merit, Pearl Continental have a thorough commitment to service quality. The management not only looks at the financial performance on a monthly basis, but also on the service performance. Taj is another hotel which actually is very high up on there. Right? High standards the best service providers set high service quality standards Citibank aims to answer phone calls within 10 seconds and customer letters within two days pizza hut aims to deliver the pizza within 20 to 30 minutes self-service technologies consumers prefer those services that are very convenient Many person-to-person -person service interactions are being replaced by self-service technology. For example, automated teller machine, which is ATMs, online ticket purchasing, like I spoke to you, right? Monitoring systems and customer complaints, top firms audit service performance, both their own and of the competitors on a regular basis. Customer complaints is a gift if handled well. Companies that encourage disappointed customers complain and also empower employees the remedy to the situation on the spot have been shown to achieve higher revenue and greater profits than companies that do not have systematic approach for addressing service failure. Right? 
would like to quote an example just that happened yesterday with with us my daughter wanted to have a pizza and uh, for that uh, we called for a pizza online and then uh, when the pizza arrived unfortunately the person who was delivering the pizza met with an accident uh, the mousse cake was like slobbered all around the coke bottle uh, got burst and the pizza was all crushed it just lost its shape looking at the plight of the person we said oh well you know we gave him band-aid and we gave him some water to drink and we said we accept the order and we paid him the full even though we couldn't uh, enjoy coke or a uh, mousse the simple reason being that um, we order often from Domino's and this is something that uh, you know could it was an unfortunate um, incident and for no fault of the delivery boy you know what happened in next 20 minutes my order came back again full order came back and they said ma'am as a gesture of good uh, of goodwill from our side please accept this of course we've had our dinner by that and we did not want to uh, but we really appreciated that gesture so this is what happens satisfying employees as well as customers excellent service companies knows that positive employee attitude would promote stronger customer loyalty instilling a strong customer orientation in employees can also increase their job satisfaction and commitment especially if they are in service settings that allow for a higher degree of customer contact time this is something which is very important like i have told you in previous slides a person who is satisfied will always talk good about the company will always be the best ambassador for the company so service is all about delivering an experience hope you enjoyed this experience in me giving you or imparting this knowledge to you on service management and on service marketing in totality thank you it was a pleasure having this lecture with you